Polonum is back at the Miller Gallery in Hyde Park. He's known for saying, I like color next to color next to color. And while we got snow overnight, Slonum is bringing us spring this morning with the bunnies, butterflies, and finches that make up some of his renowned neo-expressionist work. It's been featured at the Museum of Modern Art, the Smithsonian, the Guggenheim, and many more. Hunt Sloan, and welcome. It's such a pleasure to be able to talk to you today. Well, thank and you. And you were kind enough to bring some of your art with you. I, you've really brightened up the place. Great. Thank you. <laughs> we need a little brightness on this snowy day. Tell me about your feelings on color, because a lot has been written about that. Um, I just think that it's really important that children are raised around color. You know, we grew up in this drab kind of funny green environment where all institutions are painted gray and green or beige and you know the tendency has been towards not using color until recently now museums are using color as backdrops for paintings um, there's a great David Hockney quote that if you have a painting and you put it on a white wall your eye goes to the edges of the painting and if you put it on a wall with color it goes to the center so you're really looking at something better it's not confusing you it's actually focusing you and I like pushing the envelope with color I um, do you live in a world of color your homes yeah, are colorful you have an aviary in one of your homes that's in my studio I have about in your studio 50 parrots 50 parrots <laughs> yes and uh, you've painted them constantly you must get constant. working animals <laughs> um i've seen two cans in your paintings we, you have one of your bunny paintings what is it about wildlife that you like to paint well some people are inspired by advertising and fashion mm -hmm. and i am to a certain degree in the idea of repetition but i'm more everything in my life really comes from nature and mm. the world that um, we don't observe enough you know I mean I'm saying take a last look at all this as it leaves our planet because of the ruining of our environments um, I use the molted feathers of my birds to do feather um, installations I was inspired as a child in Hawaii by the king's cloaks which took 300 years to make in mm -hmm. Kamehameha's cloak they would pluck two feathers from the bottom of a mamo bird, oh, wow. which are now extinct, but not because they were killed by people. Hmm. Their environments were. And you save historic homes. You have some I have properties seven in historic Louisiana. historic homes. And Why is that a passion for you? Well, I just um, have loved huge antebellum homes. I used mm. to dream about them as a child. I think even um, growing up subliminally in Hawaii, I was influenced by um, Queen Liliuokalani's palace, the Ilani Palace, which had a lot of Gothic elements, and I'm a great lover of Gothic revival furniture, particularly American. I love saving, you know, these great damsels in distress. I've recently purchased Maidwood Plantation, which I studied in college. It's Henry Howard's masterpiece in Napoleonville, Louisiana. Um, I have Belterre upstate, which was built by uh, Mr. McLean to fox hunt in. He was a copper baron. And, and he, he, incidentally, he also owns property that was once owned by the Marquis de Lafayette that was gifted to Thomas Jefferson. No, right? Thomas Jefferson. The other way around. The other way around. <laughs> the other way around. And the house I wish is we, pink. <laughs> I, it, it is? Yes. I'm sure, I have no doubt that it's colorful because of you. Hunt Sloanum, thank you for coming to talk oh, with my us. Pleasure. I'm sorry we're out of time, uh, but I do want to let you know that his works will be on display at the Miller Gallery on Erie Avenue through April 20th. Treat yourself. Go see it. We have details at local12.com. Just click on the Get It Now links. We needed some color on this we, dreary oh, day. Good, good. Thank you, Hunt well, I've Sloanum. I've dressed up now here's Tara. I love it. <laughs>